Huh? Do you have a life jacket? Mm. And when the lake was full, this is the boat ramp you could use. We ain't used it in a long time. Let's go to that one over there. All right, this boat ramp right here. You may re recognize this one. We use in Texas here 22. Let's go down here and look at it. I don't think we're going to be using this one. Oh man. Hey, but that's okay. I heard there's another, a third boat ramp up that way. Let's get on over there. Oof. Wow. That was an island out there. No, there's no more island. All right, we're, we are all the way to the west side of the, what I call it, the wild cat flat, and this is why. It just kind of runs a flat all the way up to the, where the, the Colorado River is out that way, wild cat flat. Looking for this boat ramp, they said there's a third one out here, I can't find it yet. Here it is. Hey, my good friend Mason, he told us about this boat ramp. He said he saw it the other day. I said, you did? He said, uh-huh. So we came out here and we found it. This is what Mason was talking about. Thanks, Mason. I'll give you a shout out. And maybe some free brisket. You come over and I'll feed you some free brisket for telling us about this boat ramp. Look, it says Lima 77 Juliet 4 right there. Or Lime 77 um, Jalapeno 4. Because that's the, the Texas uh, phonetic alphabet. Jalapeno. One, two, three. Three, four. All right, y'all. 1978 L77J4 30 thousandths. Now, this one says L77JC4, but it's what we got at Walmart. Uh, dielectric grease. So, that's what they had at Walmart. So that's what we're going with. All right. All right. 13 sixteenths spark plug socket. Got a little rubber gasket in here, okay? Kind of dirty. It didn't look too bad though. Yeah. Let's put some uh, blue towel. Try to clean the seats up a little bit. Right here. Right here. Right here. Half a turn after finger tight. Check the gap. Okay. Stay right there. So, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna check the gap. Hopefully. I restarted it. Is it going? Yes. I I stopped it and restarted. Okay. Cause I knew it was probably gonna just give up. Yeah. Gap. We want 30 thousandths. So we're on the small end. Go to about right there. Okay, start here about 20. 
go and it gets stuck about right there. Okay, so 30. Yep, so we're good to go. And it's there it is right there. Okay, now old spark plug. Half a turn. I'm gonna start over here. Half a turn. Uh, or maybe even like half a turn. Right there. Okay. Dielectric, dielectric grease. You're doing a good job holding my phone, kiddo. Thank you. Thanks. I'm turning it off then back on. That way it doesn't just give up. Yeah? That's what I'm doing yeah, it for. Yeah. Okay. I would say okay, we... Huh? I would say we need more than one. Need more than one? Maybe. Put a bunch of this on here. Hey, I don't know if this is appropriate, but we're gonna... Get all of those. <laughs> all right, let's put this back on here. All right, that should be good to go. Okay. He blew all that dandelion off. It's all gone. Hi. Hey, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to service the lower unit lubrication oil again we haven't serviced this avenue since we put it together two years ago in papa's garage new spark plugs and now we're going to go to the the lower uh unit lube so we're going to do that at this time gear oil capacities 1978 85 38 ounces. Well, we've got that just fine. Oil fuel mixture. Not right now. Just keep in mind, it says run 50 to 1. We've been running like 32 to 1, something like that. It runs a little um, little rich, but hopefully it keeps my engine running strong. 90 high performance. This one is 32 ounces. So we'll need to use a little bit of this leftover Put it down there. Now, we changed out the plugs from a flat screwdriver to this Allen key wrench. There's the other one right there. Allen key wrench just makes life easier. I personally think that uh, Texas should prohibit flat screwdriver screws from now on felt what's it called yeah flat flat screwdrivers prohibited illegal illegal to use always start with the top one that way if you get the bottom one off can't get the top one off you're not stuck with a lower unit that has no oil in it Get the top one off first. All right, here we go. I do not I do not see or feel any metal shavings in this 
if there's metal shavings and there might be a possibility that your gears have been stripped but I don't see any of that there we're gonna let that drain for a little bit I'm gonna pull the the hood off and then turn the flywheel and hopefully that'll open up some more oil all right that should will have worked right there let's try to, let's do this Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I don't know, just hand tight. Something like that's fine. I guess. No torque specs on these, I don't think. In place. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, kiddo found this uh, prop, castle nut, uh, drain plug wrench at Walmart. He found it. He's like, Daddy, what's this? I was like, that's exactly what we need. You should do that more often. So we're going to use this to install the propeller that Brother Ben cleaned up for us. Let's do it. Evan Rude, Johnson, BRP, Genuine, Grease, Blue Goop stuff. We wiped it all over the prop shaft. We put this little piece thing we put our back on where it belongs. Now we're going to slide on this propeller. Check and make sure that there's no fishing line. That's why we did this. Install the castle nut. Here. It's not really close to stop. Get your finger out of the way. Alright, let's do that. Now, watch this. Here is the handy dead. See? Haha! -ha! It fits like it's exactly it's supposed to do this. Need help? Nope. It's just a little more. Okay, we're gonna have to get some more circles. Right there. Okay, let's put the cotter pin back in. This cotter pin looks real beat up. Old hubcap bearing cup dust cap thing. New bearing dust cap hub buddies. Because I can't get the, uh, oh, the sun's bright. I can't get the grease gun into the port behind the wheel and the hub, so we're going to put one up to the front. Hey, you. Hey, you. Steady, steady. There it is. Right here. All right, back out a little bit. Stand back up. Oh, stand, stand right there. I got a new grease coupler. This locking grease coupler from Harbor Freight. We're going to put it on here, and we're going to grease it up. That's it, thanks.
All right, it's a little windy today, but today's the best day we've got. Got some low pressure clouds moving in here. Got a little bit of breeze. It feels great outside. We can go camping, catch us some catfish, take the boat, let it run. Let's do it, let's go! We made it to our secret spot that's kind of out of the wind and we're going to start tossing out our brand new Texas Gear 23 jug design and just let them drift downwind. It's going to, they're going to drift this way and then we'll pick them up in about two hours from now. This, this here is venison liver. We got a whole bunch of it. Ooh, that's a lot better than chicken livers. There it is. We're just going to toss it in. Whoop! Ha ha! All right, you see them all? They're all headed in that direction. Except for that one right there. That one's behaving a little funny. We only put it out like three minutes ago. <laughs> we'll have to go out there and find what's going on. Is. There it is, right here. This first knot gets afloat. Here's your gear tag right there. Okay. We'll bait it on the way back. One, two, three, four, five. There's half a dozen hooks in between each float. So this one, this is number seven from the first float, toss it out there. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're gonna head upwind and let the wind blow us back down the trot line so I'm not fighting against the trot line. Isn't that pretty up there? Oh man, that's beautiful. There, see? Then take you one of these leaders right here and loop it, let it slide. Hook it on. Keep on going. There will be Two dozen, two dozen hooks on this trot line. It's gonna be good. Look at that, it's gorgeous. In the in the in the words of my good friend that I've seen on YouTube, woo! You know what? We found us here a creek. I think this is called Sky Harbor Creek because there's an airport right over there. You can't see it. Uh, we're far enough up in here that I'm not worried about the jugs heading out into the open lake, so we're gonna toss them out over here. All right, these are my flagging jugs. You hear that rebar? You sit them in here like this, and if a fish hits it, wham! It'll sit up like that. It'll stand up like a mailbox, okay? But they cost about six or seven dollars now to build, and the other ones cost like one dollar to build, so 
and that's the way it is. Mama brought us food. I don't have to cook any. Oh, wow. Can you see it? That's hot dogs with pepper jack cheese and Cheetos. Little cheese puff balls. And you know, veggies. And veggies. That's good enough. Hey, guys. Eating some food at dark. I already finished my hot dog. Yeah? I got your veggies left. Man. Dog. That was rude. Was it rude? Yes. That's a pretty sunset right there. Well, it's time for me to set up my tent or make mom set it up and I'll watch her. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put up our tent at nighttime with flashlights. Let's go. So here's our tent top. Everything you need to put up a tent is at the top. Yeah. Including this random backpack. And these sticks. Don't break those. What's in this bag? Stop. Bag right, and good. snake bag. Oh, Keep going. Go. 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 Okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. Right. Okay. Here is our bedding bag. Fully autonomous, independent bedding bag. This stands for, hey, come here. This stands for unconditionally superior bedding bag. Okay? Pillow, one, sheet set, one, comfy blankie, one, pump, if your truck has a inverter power enough or if you just happen to go to some random sleepover, one, pump if you want to be a man and pump it by hand, like the way we used to, like 6,000 years, one, and the mattress, one. And a uh, duffel bag, one. And there you have it. Bed according to Senko 670-1 or I don't know, we'll make it up whatever. All right. We are out here at night time. There's one. There's another one. Um There's some way out there. You can't see him on the video. And we caught one in the cooler already. Let's see if I can do this without losing my phone. All right, we got two in there. A blue and a channel. Now, we're gonna try some rod reel fishing with these burnt, with these serviced, these are uh, great papaws ambassador reels that we serviced and we put uh, reflective tape on our bobbers so we're going to toss them out here and we're just going to sit and wait
Texas tough. There's two catfish. So far fillets. I'm worn out. It's a lot of fun, but I'm going to bed. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the tent, get a few hours of sleep, wake up and run that trot line again. I'll see you in the morning. Woo! Last night that wind was that one wind was blowing like this, but that's okay. It's part of the fun. Hey, this lake. Oh, it's beautiful, gorgeous. Let's go check our lines. See if we caught anything. Oh, but first, let's get some breakfast. Mama brought me some some goodies. Mama brought us this fruit pouch, banana. And these uh, uh, bear crunchy snacks. Ooh, this one too. Ooh, 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 ooh. This one's here's got one. Don't drop the phone. That's a nice one right there. There's a trot line. Let's see if we got anything. Come here. Oh yeah, got this one. Get him in the boat. Got it. There's a nice one right there. You see that one right there? It's nice. Ho ho ho! Woo you are all twisted up, aren't you? You got the whole thing twisted up, didn't you? Look at that there. That there's a nice one. There's a big old blue one. <sighs> nice big old fish. Nice big old fish. one you see that nine pounds